This is Marinell. She's a real estate investor and she's done something that we've never seen before. She's taken this house, a single family house, and turned it into three separate rental units. Let's talk about value add. What's it mean? So when someone tells me they want value add, they want to buy a property where they feel that they could increase the value. And that's unique because when you buy stock where you can't really manipulate what's going on there, in real estate you can. So if you buy smart, if you know what you're doing, you're able to increase the value by, by increasing the income. So in this specific case, it's converting one single family home into three separate legal units. That is the highest and best use. That is the ultimate value add. And it could be done with any type of property, but in this case, we're highlighting this specific project today. So this property is super unique because the one thing that I often get is, Juan, can you help me find a house with a house in the back? Or, hey, Juan, I'm looking to have my mother move in or my father move in, or my son needs to move back home. And so this property is unique because we don't have a lot of inventory that accomplishes that. This specific property is a three bed, two bath in the front house, completely remodeled with a, a, a studio, and a two bedroom. So this helps accomplish the goals of helping some of the family move in or maybe living in one of the units and renting out the rest to help offset the mortgage. Most of the investors we work with are looking for one thing, value add opportunities. Today, what we're gonna show you is the ultimate value add opportunity, converting one house into three legal units. Let's take a look. So here's the garage as part of the front house. Sure. Sorry, it's full of stuff. Yeah, so one thing I liked about this garage was a super high ceiling. I know. It's, it's uh, much, much higher. Storage. Yeah, you can definitely put storage above on that if you wanted to. Here's a giant laundry room. So one thing that, that I always mention, whether it's a house or a flip or an apartment, laundry is literally king. Like people will, will pay more. It's such a luxury to be able to add laundry to it. And I don't know if this house had it before, but that is such a really, really, and it's massive too, so it's a plus. Yeah, it definitely has a lot of space in there. Um, this is gonna be the kitchen. And we did take down a, a wall here, so a little bit more open concept. And we're gonna put a peninsula, so it's gonna be like a U-shaped cabinets here. Yeah, so what you're seeing is a project right in the middle of, uh, of the remodel. You know, she was able to pull the permits. You see electrical, I see new plumbing. One unique thing that Marinell was able to do was she was able to add 500 square feet to the property. Um, this was something that was built before her and she was able to work with the city and get that added. When we talk about value add, that's adding 500 square feet of value. That is like so, so smart of, of you to have done that. And this used to be a closet, but now it's a bathroom because we wanted to make the front house a three, two. Yeah. Um, because before it just had that big one bathroom. So nice bathroom in here. So let me just touch on that really quick. So a 3-1 is much, much less desirable than a 3-2. So oftentimes when we were dealing with a tenant or we're dealing with a buyer um, and we ask them, well, what are you interested in? It's always a 3-2. No one ever says, I want a 3-1. So taking the extra steps to add that additional bathroom, definitely worth the investment because what you have is now a bigger pool of buyers and it's just much more desirable for, for folks out there. So yeah. yeah, it's a good call. Yeah, thanks. We got a new heating unit in here. And then we got two massive bedrooms on each side of the hallway. And one thing that stands out about this property is obviously just the massive square footage. The, the size of the bedrooms are not typical, but anytime you do an investment, it's always what's your exit plan and you, you always have to put yourselves in the mindset of who the buyer is going to be who's going to be the investor who who's going to want to buy this property from you yeah. so that they win right because they get a, a property that's nice and then you win there's a level of a, a credit uh for for your efforts from from an investment standpoint and so right. when i look at this and we now you have a three two we have these huge bedrooms which is not common um, in Long Beach or, or, you know, it's just not, we're so used to small rooms. And so this is a big, big plus to have this. Yeah, very unique property. All right, now this is a massive bathroom to match the massive bedrooms. We have a shower, walk-in shower, and then a soaking tub. And then it'll be vanities here. As we discuss the exit plan and who this property is, is perfect for is, is what we would consider a owner user, meaning someone is gonna wanna buy this house to live in the front house. 
And so what you've created was a very attractable home, a large home, has the, uh, the upgrades that any homeowner is gonna want. But then also with the two additional homes, you're opening up to folks who want that extended family to stay, maybe they want their mom to stay, maybe their son's coming home from college or that type of scenario, yeah. or maybe someone wants to buy it, it's a big mortgage, and they want the two units to help offset, offset the, um, the new mortgage. And so this is, this is perfect for owner user situation, and I think the upgrades that you've done um, are, are perfect for the situation. Yeah, or even the opposite, someone could live in one of the smaller units and rent out the front and it'd be covered, it'd be yeah. great. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is the third bedroom, so this is kind of where the front house ends. So this is the junior ADU. This is where it kind of can be separated from the front house. You know, we'll, we'll put a, a locked door here. Um, closet there, full bathroom, and then a, ki a kitchenette. So I have a pretty good square footage. And so what you have here is a a studio and the word junior ADU, I, I, I hope at some point in the near future, we, we do away with calling it a junior ADU because in my opinion, it's it's not that. It's, it's studio, it's an apartment, it's no different than any other apartment that I've seen or that we've helped folks sell. Um, so I feel like sometimes when you say ADU, it, it, it deminimizes the fact that it's a habitable residential unit, right? right. Where, where, where the electrical's new, where it's gonna be clean, obviously, you know, she's still gonna build out the kitchenette, she's completing all the, um, all the upgrades, but this is gonna be a very, very nice property uh, for what I call our tenant base, our tenant base here in Long Beach. Yeah. So this is the ADU with its own entrance, right? We're gonna have a kitchenette here. This is the living area. What I like about um, the three different units is that the investors and you know obviously the buyer for this property they, what what they want is what they call a, a good unit mix and what that means is you know up front you're gonna have a three two in the back you're gonna have a studio and this one's a two bedroom versus them being all one bedrooms or all studios and so that's what we call a good unit mix and when you're looking for your exit plan or you're looking to see who's gonna buy it and is there gonna be a market for it it's always a plus when you can have that variation in unit sizes. Oh, cool. I did not know that. Yeah. So this specific unit would be referred to as the ADU. Yeah. And this specific unit is the one that according to the city and according to state law, in most instances or to most investors out there, they would think this one would have to be detached. This one is unique in that you were able to, to um, talk to the city and do something differently to get it permitted as an ADU, but yet it's not detached. What, what was that difference that, that allowed you to do that? So I know that the plan checker, we did kind of push them a little bit. Um, I think that the compromise was that we could do the attached unit, but they have to, it has to be separated by a firewall, um, meaning that you know, there's a, if there's a fire in the main house, you know, then there's special drywall and special insulation that, that's being used, um, and it goes all the way to the roof and basically gives, it'll delay that fire from coming across and you know, and, it, and that's pretty standard in apartments, I believe. Right. So we just kind of had to treat this as an apartment so it had to be separated with, with a firewall. So that doesn't seem like it's that big of a request from the city. Right, and I was surprised, you know, okay. but I mean, and they didn't say you have to have separate meters and all that stuff, like they just said, you know, for safety purposes, do the firewall, you know, and, and it's not that bad, like, it, I mean, depending on the house, you know, it does get a little complicated up in the attic because sometimes they have a lot of weird funky roof stuff going on, but, you know, we were able to, we were able to do it and it wasn't, you know, I, I got in there and helped out, like, it was, it was cool. We have added, um, like, a kind of a storage area here. I'm not sure exactly what anybody would want to do with it, but at least there's some storage, right? And then, second bedroom. And Marinelle, were you able to add laundry into both of the rear units? I wanted to so bad. Like I thought this closet would have been perfect for it, but I think we didn't have enough depth in there, but it would have been perfect. So, I mean, it's... Or maybe even this closet. 
from a developer perspective, we, you know, I always tell folks, if you can add laundry, do it, yeah. do it, do yeah. it, do it, do it, really do it on all the units it. because it's such a plus and obviously the tenants will appreciate that and, and then you'll get a higher quality tenant. So there you have it. Our goal here at Sage Real Estate is to educate, inform you with all the right information so that you can make the best decision. Every project, every investment opportunity will be unique. So if you wanna learn more or have a specific question, please feel free to reach out.